Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're doing transferring with Mod Podge Matte and Gloss on wood. And this is inkjet printers. Uh, yes, of course you can do this with your uh, laser printers, but you can also do it with an inkjet printer. Um, it'll give you a little bit more of a faded look, but it's still fun. You can use magazines and uh, inkjet printers and all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, the second part of this video uh, is going to be live, like, you know, me talking and doing it. But this part's just recorded and forwarded for my dogs decided to bark in the middle. So I just have a piece of wood, which is the size of a coaster, because like I said, I don't use coasters. I'm a pig. So I just printed it out turned it over, used water, and that's all this is. Um, and you can see it came out light. You can also do this on painted uh, matte uh, or gloss. It doesn't matter. But this is just regular, you know, wood, unfinished wood with inkjet printers. Now, this is very light. And you can also paint around it and do all that kind of stuff. I'm just using watercolor uh, paint from Plaid. And I'm painting the whole coaster. And I'm going to give it a kind of a worn look. But, you know, I'm also going to show you that if it comes out too light and you don't like it, don't worry about it. Yes, you can paint over it. Yes, you can transfer over it. But you can also just take a permanent marker like a Sharpie or Faber-Castell, which I use, and uh, go over it and make it your own kind of thing. Um, and that's what I did here. I just did regular letters and I printed out um, or drew out rather the cat. And I'm just drawing it with my heat gun, getting that paint good and dry. And yeah, hard to see because my big hands in the way, but you can uh, do your own thing. You could even sit and trace all the cats. It would be fine to do. I just didn't do it in this one, but you can see I did keep the V. And what I'm going to end up doing on this one is transferring um, okay, Emily's so pictures of here's her what cat. we got going on. We have Mod Podge mat on wood right here. And what I did was I put it on and I let it dry. I have the Mod Podge, uh, Mod Podge gloss and this is two coats. And what I'm going to do is, let's see where I'm going to put this. We're going to take the uh, love backwards and I'm going to use a little bit of the glue to put it on here. Just the littlest bit. Make sure my brush is dry. And what I'll do is put it like this. Put it like this. Yeah, I'm not going to worry if it's straight or not. I'm just going to lay it on. Kind of give it. Come on, baby. A little push and give it a few minutes to dry and now what I'll do is take this off because that's the mat and I let it dry overnight my lighting is very odd today so just when isn't it okay so I'm gonna set this aside till we're done okay so now what I'm gonna do is get some water give it a squirt like that yeah, see, my light keeps going off and on. I don't know why. Let's see if that helps stabilize it. And I'm going to, we're just going to take those off. And again, Mod Podge mat on wood. And I let it dry. And I, I mean, I let it dry for a few hours. Oh, this is great. Okay. I'm just going to pull this extras off. Now, some people do not like any of the paper left, and I think that's totally a preference. Depends on what you're going for. If you're going for a clean, um, you know, transfer, I understand. So what you would do is uh, got that I would I wouldn't squirt so much on there at the moment I would squirt where you want that paper removed some people say that hot is a uh, hot water is better it works better this is just my spray that I have sitting here I'm gonna give it a second 
And I think I'm going to take a small, this is a stencil brush. This is from plaid, you know, it comes in the kit, but use a rough, there we go. Like a rough brush that you have. Look at that. It's coming right off and you could eliminate this obviously by ripping this off in the beginning and only putting the word. I like some of this left, but I'm just showing you that if you get a little extra, which you usually do when you uh, do a transfer like this, so you can see I'm getting the majority of it off just to show you. I'm not touching around the word yet because you don't want to take that off. And then of course you just do that and get all that extra off comes off better when it's dry, but you know, those little squishy, fuzzy, little boopy things, but I'm just going to show you. Okay. Again, you know, you don't want to do too much around there because it is, you know, I didn't, I didn't let it dry and I didn't kind of seal it yet. So I'm just going to go in with this and go around. To get some of that paper off if there's any left there might not be any left okay. now if i go in a little harder you're going to see right here that it'll take that extra black off you don't have to do that but you know, it just gives you that more of a transfer. It depends on the look that you're going for. You're still having the uh, cat, you know, if you're going for like a mixed media background kind of thing, but I'm just showing you the two ways you could have left it like that. Or like I said, kind of going in like that and going to just dust it here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is dry this just real quick. So we can see where we're at. And then I'll hold it up so you can see it a little better. Now, mind you, if you know, you, you this is obviously words, but you can use pictures or pictures out of your magazine, or this is just inkjet. That's why I'm showing this, this in the Mod Podge. But if you use like a solid uh, color, you know, you're going to get more of a solid look. So, you know, keep that in mind. We're going to use a bigger brush here just to kind of get off these little boopies that I don't necessarily want. Now transfers, you are not getting a printed, if you want a printed kind of a uh, dark look like this one, for instance, that I just went over with the marker, you of course don't want to transfer it, right? But this is a transfer. This is so you can, you know, get the picture that you want, maybe not as perfect looking. But like magazines and stuff, you want to transfer pictures. This is great for, okay. So you can see, I'm just doing that. There's a little bit more uh, paper up here that I can work on. I'm not going to, but look. Now, if we would have painted this background, you know, a different uh, color and then transferred, we definitely could have done that. Um, but still, this is wood, two coats of Mod Podge matte. And look how cool it came out. So I love this. Like I said, you can go over it um and use a permanent marker and then you can color over it and then you just get to keep you know you could just do the cat here for the v or whatever and i'll probably put glitter on this and paint this so these are two different ways now let's look at the mod podge gloss because a lot of you ask about mod podge gloss mod podge gloss and um if you can transfer on that as well so what i did was you can see I just glued it on there. Now, if I would have cut some of this white off, which, you know, I can do right now, it makes it, you know, easier. I always do bigger. And like I said, I like some of that paper texture on here um, or on my art journal pages, wherever you're going to transfer. 
And this is more going to be the wet method, which means that I'm not going to let this dry. I think I let this dry overnight. But what I'm going to do is, and you'll see when you do this, and I'm going to burnish this a little bit, um, you're going to have wrinkles. Now, I let this sit for, what, five minutes or so, six minutes, and now I can go in and use my finger to kind of burnish it a little bit more, maybe get some of these wrinkles out because it's not as um, wet on this outside because it had a few minutes to dry. And then I can go in with this. And again, this is Mod Podge gloss. There is Mod Podge paper as well, but I'm using these because um, a lot of you write me and say, you know, I don't have Mod Podge paper. I, don't, I can't go out and buy it. So can I use my Mod Podge or my Mod Podge gloss? And I'm just giving these a little burnish. I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want to go through the paper and rip it because it is still wet under there. Okay, and just dry it another second and then we will go and peel off. Because ideally what transferring is, is we are leaving the ink and kind of a layer of the paper uh, on whatever you're transferring on, which could be, you know, a, a art journal page, ATC card, anything like that. But think about it. Think about if you're looking in your magazines and which I'll probably do a video doing this. Take a picture of your magazine that you like, put it on your art journal page, transfer it with whatever you have, Mod Podge, matte paper, whatever, a gloss and leave it dry, take it off and you have a great background started. Cause a lot of you say, oh, I'm nervous. I'm afraid of the white page. I'm afraid of a background. I don't know what to do. Do that. There's so many pretty pictures in your magazines uh, of flowers or colors or backgrounds. And I'm not just talking about art magazines. I'm talking about people magazine. Uh, what other magazines do I have? Family circle, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Always. Okay. So I'm really just pushing this down for a second. I really want it to make contact. And now I'm going in with some water. Okay, and I'm just going to give that a second. And I'm going to be gentle going in because remember, it's not all the way dry underneath. It's just, you know, on there. So I'm not going to push real hard. And you can see it still comes up. I'm not going to worry too much about the paper around it. I'm going to go in very gently like this. Do you see how it's coming through? You can see the dark underneath. And I'm not pushing hard and I'm not going to take that layer off this time. I'm going to show you the difference of if you take the layer off and if you don't, I'm just going in very gently and then around the outside, maybe where I don't want still go gently because it could lift this up. You really want to let this dry once you get to this point. Just go in a little bit. So when you could take your little brush, you want to use a small one. A little kid toothbrush would work. I mean, go to the dollar store. There's so many, and you can get these at the dollar store. These are plaid. They come in a, they're very inexpensive and they come in a kit, you know, like in, um, all together, like you buy paint brushes. And I'll just go in a little bit. You can use a Q-tip. I mean, you know, go to the dollar store. You could find a lot of stuff there that uh works okay so i'm just gonna finish this up around and then dry it so you guys can see of course you go around and you know you take off as much as you want again okay so you see see where we're at yeah i'm not gonna play too much with that but i'm gonna dry it and then we'll get all those off Now, as you dry, you see like, oh, I see up here, you know, I have more white that I want to get off. So I'll just go in. 
And this is if you, you know, you're having hand problems that day, you know, look at your tools in all kinds of way. You know, I like to do, um, I like to have more than one thing that when I buy a product or I'm using a product that I can use it for. Um, and this just happens to be one of the things I do. It's a, a stencil brush. And you can hear, hear me when I'm going around here, it's taking it. And remember, I put two layers of the Mod Podge, like that, two layers of the Mod Podge uh, gloss underneath, let it dry. I put a coat, let it dry, another coat, let it dry. Then I did the transfer with even more on here. So the wood is not porous. So when I go in to paint this, it's going to be more of a opaque on the outside. I'm going to dry it one more time and then we'll go in and show you. Now, obviously I can go in and do more of this. I'm not going to spend a ton of time. You get the idea. It's what we did on here. You just use your small little uh, brush. You know, you'll wet this again and go back in. Um, I would probably let this dry another 15 minutes. It's pretty dry, but another 15 minutes. And then I would go in again. All I would do now is seal it with your Mod Podge mat on here or your uh, Mod Podge gloss on here. And just to seal it before you, you know, if you're going to paint over it, if you're going to paint around it and do different things, then of course, you know, seal it all when you're done. But you can see, you know, different kind of things you can do on the wood and you can use any, you know, print on your inkjet printer and your Mod Podge. I have shown millions of tutorials on my channel about Mod Podge and transferring and, and just the fun of it and the stuff to do. Um, you don't have to have special gel medium and all that kind of stuff. If you can afford it, I'm like, go for it if that's what you want, but you don't need it. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, I love Mod Podge and I really love uh, what I can do, you know, what I can do with it and how much I can, um, use it in place of things. Now, I know I'll be asked about white school glue and you can do the same thing if you have your white school glue, but it cannot be washable. Um, you really don't want washable. You want, it's called, uh, what is it? All glue or something like that. Um, I have to get my bottle from downstairs, but, um, it's not the washable kids glue. It's the other because the washable kids glue, I mean, it's kind of the same Mod Podge will go will dry permanent. It's a sealer. It's a glue, you know, um, and it seals. So that will dry and be fine. But sometimes that washable glue will reactivate. You have to be, a, you can do it, but it, you have to be really careful with what you're doing. You have to make sure it's dry. And when you go around, you really just have to be careful. Um, you can do it though, but the white school glue, it's like all purpose glue, uh, which is not washable, uh, is what you would use. So keep that in mind but you can do it definitely. And you can see the more I go through here, the more paper I get off. Um, I can just sit here and play with this all day. I don't know why it's satisfying to take the paper off for me. I think I'm just weird, but let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know any tips uh, that you guys have that you could put down below and share with everybody. Cause I love sharing the tips, but again, loving the Mod Podge, uh, so many things I'm going to show you guys this uh, new year and amp up my game a little bit. I got a lot going on, a lot of exciting things I've been working on for a while. So I hope you guys stick with me. And if you just found me and you'd like to subscribe, please click that subscribe button down below. Click the bell next to it so you can be notified as well as all you guys that are subscribed to me. If you've came this far, please click that notification so you get notified when I upload. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. We are working on progress, not perfection. We're going to have a really good year together. And I love you guys so very much. Thank you for being so supportive 
uh, to me and my channel this year. I've grown way beyond even more than I could anticipate. And I'm very uh, thankful and I feel very, very blessed. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.